What's going on guys? Dan with PC Tech Hustle coming at you again with another video. Today we got ourselves a new kind of hustle. Uh, this is a all brand new parts hustle, but a budget oriented video editing rig that I will be building for a, a new client. So let's take a look at the parts. All right, so let's take a closer look at the parts here. As mentioned, this is a budget oriented video editing rig that I was reached out to by uh, a local that wanted a rig done for them and they wanted it done on a budget or you know not spend too much money right so let's start with the meat of of the build so this is a b450 ars pro wi-fi uh, one reason we chose this this is a bit more of an expensive a bit more of a premium motherboard but the client had a few uh needs to have wi-fi um so obviously when you go to wi-fi you kind of jump up in uh price so um, I recommended this just because I have good uh, dealings with Gigabyte. They make good quality stuff, reliable. I've been using their stuff for a while and I've done a couple builds with it. So uh, it was a bit of a jump. So you definitely can save some money there if you go with a cheaper, like uh, more basic oriented board. So the big meat of the build here though, and the big t uh, thing that makes this more stand out than anything else is a, we got ourselves here a Ryzen 7 2700X, uh, so 8 core, 16 thread uh, processor. Yes, this isn't the uh, the newest gen Ryzen, but the good thing about that is like these are going under $200 now, so that makes this such a fantastic uh, de fantastic choice for doing a budget oriented. Um, build like this and having the 8 core 16 threads obviously makes it a, a high contender for being a high performer. Over here real quick we got the Radeon RX 580. Uh, yes not a massive awesome powerful card. Uh, it's definitely what makes this more of a budget oriented focused build but for video editing um, a lot of the work's going to be done over here on the Ryzen uh, CPU so this will get the job done. Definitely some room for some upgrade later on if uh, he decides he wants to get with a beefier card, but this should handle all the workloads that he's gonna put through this machine with, with these. Over here the RAM real quick, we have just some basic Corsair Vengeance um, 16 gig, two by eight sticks at 3200 megahertz. Uh, the good thing to note here is the 3200 megahertz, which will pair very well with the Ryzen 7. So made sure that uh, we at least had 16 gigs. Uh, I don't think I would recommend anything less for a modern video editing rig. And definitely the big thing, the 3200 megahertz. Here we have the um, boot drive, which is a Rocket NVMe PCIe M.2. This is a 512 uh, gig. This is a fantastic drive for what it's worth. It's uh, Kind of more on the budget oriented side but also uh very well reviewed and uh i've used, actually used one of these in a previous build just a 256 variant and had no issues so i definitely recommend that if you're looking for a cheap drive for mass storage uh i also recommend the client get a larger drive for archiving uh video content like after so he can do his work here over on the uh uh, NVMe drive and then later save the archive files to uh, a, a larger uh, storage device being uh, this 4 terabyte uh, Seagull Iron Wolf NAS drive. Here is a EVGA 600 watt BQ uh, so figured this is uh, definitely going to be plenty of power for this rig uh, but also the main thing to take away EVGA being a Fantastic brand for power supply, 600 watt, and it's 80 plus bronze, so should be very power efficient and reliable, that being the big things here, uh, through some long video editing sessions. We have the case as the final item on the list of hardware. Uh, not a major particular reason we chose this case other than we uh, something I recommended as something that would cool uh, fairly well with the mesh of Icea, obviously having a good front mesh to pull in clean fresh air and uh, supply two fans which is nice uh, the, the color is white and we got tempered glass um, and actually he mentioned that he his previous video editing rigs rigs being the key thing here 
were actually uh, Mac Pros that would overheat. So he's done with the Mac side and he's moved on to the PC Master Race. <laughs> so anyway, um, that covers all the parts we have on the table and let's get cracking on building this thing and uh, make ourselves a potent little budget video editing machine.
I wanted to discuss this build, although budget oriented, it's budget oriented towards the 900 to $1,000 range. So there are some things that the client wanted that you don't necessarily need. Um, so I'm not going to go into any crazy detail on why every part was, why he chose them, uh, just for sake of, you know, blabbering on for on and on. But I wanted to show you guys, and I'll, I'll, I'll put two links in the description below too, that have like what we chose as the build and then uh, what you could do to modify that to really make a cheaper build. So again, uh, our build came out to about $918. I think that price is slightly inflated, uh, especially here on the 2700X. Uh, when we bought it, we bought it actually under $200. So I think this price inflation it came up just a little bit due to uh, the holiday shopping, Black Friday, etc. So if you keep that in mind, bear that in mind. So this price is should be within a range of under $900, uh, which is what the client was targeting uh, with between the $900 to $1,000 range. But if you take that list and I, what I did here is I modified it to more of a bare bones style where remove the motherboard that had Wi-Fi features and just kind of with the basic uh, ASRock board um, that dropped the price. Took it down to a six core uh, instead of a, a eight core. Uh, 16 thread processor which really significantly dropped the price as you can see you know 244 versus 120 right uh, additionally I knocked off one of the storage drives so if uh, for some reason maybe you have a leftover drive or you have a uh, you know a, an external storage drive that you can store files on as like your video archives so I kind of kept that in mind, it's like what is your bare necessities to get things running? Well, you only really need one drive. So if you stuck with just the uh, NVMe that we had actually in the original build and just knock off the, uh, the uh, Iron Wolf, uh, that knocks off another $100, right? Um, additionally, you know, you, uh, we, uh, you can go down a bit in case. Like the Meshify C is kind of more of a premium case. It's not a super, super premium price but you can definitely go way cheaper for a still a very good quality case which i did here for the nzxt 512 or 510 for you know 30 dollars cheaper i'm sorry was it 30 uh oh yes yeah 30 dollars cheaper so that's pretty significant uh lastly power supply like we you know, we're kind of up there in power a 600 watt maybe even this system doesn't necessarily need a 600 watt supply i don't i don't want to say so but I kind of gave him some buffer room right if he decides to go up in hard drive or I'm sorry hard drive uh, GPU and maybe processor later down the road he doesn't have to worry about upgrading his power supply as well so that's why I kind of stuck with that originally but if bare bones focus is what you want you can definitely you can definitely drop it down especially if now having a lower power draw CPU right so and you can see the price difference that makes forty three ninety eight versus the original six, you know seventy dollars. So, and the total you know obviously speaks for itself. We're under six hundred dollars now versus nine hundred eighteen. So if you're really focusing on just how to build something that's budget that can do video editing, you know here it is. You know, give or take an extra you know I would say anywhere between another ten to twenty or even thirty more dollars. So. Alrighty guys, so that's going to pretty much cover this video. Um, I do apologize. I really want to kind of like really break down the PC a bit more. Um, as you saw what I did with the uh, PC part breaker list, at least kind of explain the, you know, the logic behind what I was choosing as far as parts for the guy. He was, you know, on a, on a limited budget. So the, the focus of this build was... Uh, being able to create a uh, video editing rig that is capable of doing, you know, mass video editing uh, was obviously a, uh, a fix for his problems that he had with his uh, Apple uh, devices before. Um, would be a reliable part and uh, definitely very upgradable. You know, we, you know, some areas obviously GPU can can be upgraded um, even even CPU so he's really at a limit where uh, the sky is the limit where he can go all the way up to you know Ryzen 9 3950X if you wanted to again I do want to kind of apologize that I wasn't able to include more of like the actual benchmarks of the device um, what it was capable of doing as far as video editing etc uh, this build was fast, really fast. The guy reached out to me on a Monday 
said, hey, uh, he originally wanted to buy one of my budget PCs. I, I kind of, you know, I was honest with him, like, hey, you know, this really isn't going to be a great machine for you for video editing, especially if you're doing uh, content. He said he was doing upwards of two hour renders. So I was like, no, I, I, I didn't feel comfortable about trying to sell him that. So I offered, hey, let me, uh, let me help you put something together. So, and that's what we did. So literally talked on the phone about what parts to buy on Monday and he had all the parts at his house uh, Wednesday night and then the following day brought them over to me and I put the PC together uh, starting at about 7 p.m. after you know getting kid stuff settled and everything and had it back in his hands by about 11 p.m. so there was literally no time as you can see it's gone like I don't have it in my possession anymore so uh, which is fine, that's what he wanted. Uh, you know, I, I, it wasn't a build that I was doing, so uh, for my own purposes, as far as benchmarks and stuff. So uh, he's a happy customer, and I think uh, this is a good example of uh, if you're out there looking for a budget build that's tailored for video editing, uh, this is a good start. You know, it, it'll uh, put you in, the, in a budget price range, but not break the bank. So. Uh, like I said, this about does it for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel, helps that algorithm, right? Um, and uh, I got some more stuff coming your way. Um, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.